Hello guys, what's up? It's Sassy Pattern. So, Panasonic is releasing the S52 and the S52 Mark X. Now, it is the pinnacle of their full frame sensor, which can sit at the same spot where the Nikon Z9, forget the Z9, the Z7 Mark II, Canonius R5, Sony A7R Mark II, not bad. Let's see the Sony A7 Mark IV. Yes, that should be better. So, if you compare these particular cameras, Canonius R5 or R6 Mark II, you can say R5 is actually far better than this. If just you put the Canonius R6 Mark II, the Panasonic S5 Mark II X, Nikon Z6 Mark II and the Canonius R7 Mark IV. What you will find? Just imagine it. All of them are full pin. They can shoot at least 4K 60p. Some of them can shoot 6K. But all of them are quite similar at some different prices. Is it true? Is it okay or is it a fun in this market or not? I am searching that particular question. Yes, Panasonic has a quite great price point, but overall they are the same. They should be like that, but which camera you should choose? If you have almost $2,000 in your pocket to buy a camera only, body only, not lens. What will you choose between these four camera? Panasonic S5 Mark II can do video greatly, but the autofocus is not good. Have limited lens. Canon all in all great camera. No problem in lens. No problem is autofocus, but quite a bit pricey. Sony is a very hybrid camera. It can do all, but of course it is seats above two thousand dollar the can nikon z6 mark ii is below two thousand dollars so they are both at the same treatment the nikon z6 mark ii and the panasonic s5 mark II. so which one will you choose canon sony panasonic nikon if you have just two thousand dollar to choose from let me know in the comment section below i love to know from you guys goodbye have a nice day see you soon